Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Today's flavor is pumpkin spice. It's a flavor I don't buy very often, and I had one left. So I figured I would drink that this morning. But definitely not with chocolate creamer. I'll be using the Frosted Sugar Cookie by International Delight. So today's temperature is going to only be 48. It's not supposed to rain, but tomorrow we're supposed to get rain. So I need to go outside and do a little yard cleanup, which is not my favorite job to do, but needs to be done. So, I'm not doing much in the way of gardening anymore. I still have a little bit of celery growing out there, but so far the uh, cold nights that have been in the 30s haven't really bothered it. So I should go cut that off and dehydrate it and make some celery salt and just some general seasoning with it. But we'll see. I have inside things that need my attention. Always something to do. I don't know how I ever had time to work, to be honest with you. I got so much more done when I was younger. My house was always clean. My garden was really nice. But I didn't vegetable garden back in those days. I've only been doing that maybe for the past, oh, maybe five, six years that I've been vegetable gardening. Before that, it was always flowers. I have always loved flowers. But my life has changed a lot in the last decade. So let's give the coffee a taste. Cheers. It's very hot. It's good, but I don't enjoy this as much as my regular coffee creamer. It seems to be richer. My my chocolate caramel is a richer coffee coffee creamer. After that, everything kind of seems diluted to me. But this is good. I need to finish up this coffee, so that's what I'm doing this morning. So I don't have any plans of going anywhere today. Last week and the week before, they were kind of brutal in the, in the going places and having people in and fixing. And, you know, I, I just really would like to take a breath. And I'm very happy I don't have to host Thanksgiving this year. Uh, my kids and I are going to my ex-husband's house. To their dad's house so I will take a dish though I'll take something I'm not sure what I was thinking maybe a pumpkin dump cake but I really honestly don't know if I still have the pumpkin I think I do I have to take a look down in my stash and then that's probably what I'll do because I did buy a box of cake mix because I had to throw all that out because of the mice problem. So we haven't caught any more mice, but they're still there. So anyway, um, I need to get a, a little cleaning done, at least before Christmas, because chances are I will be hosting Christmas Eve here which is always something I love to do. And my kids don't have any more birthdays coming up until January. And then my oldest son has a birthday. So if he wants, I'll host something for him here. But they don't have the enthusiasm anymore for birthday parties that they used to have. And I'm, I'm good with that. 
So, all right, I'm going to enjoy this coffee, and then I will meet you at the budget book. All right, here we are back at my budget book. So yesterday I did spend money. I gave my grandson a birthday gift uh, of money. And today I'm planning on staying home. I want to start uh, organizing my food stash. It, it's very disorganized. I have beans here and beans there and beans up and beans down. Same with rice. So I want to start putting all that in the buckets that I have. So um, I think that's what I'm going to plan to do today and just stay home and get something done. Tomorrow I have to take my mom to the doctor, so I won't get much done tomorrow. But the rest of the week is pretty much open, except, of course, for Thanksgiving coming up. So, uh, but hopefully the rest of this time now I won't need to spend anything. So if that's the case, I, I didn't spend a whole lot this month, but um, I think seven days, yeah. So we'll see. You know, you never know. You have these wonderful plans of not spending money, and then things come up and you have to. But I don't so far have any repairmen coming. I need a break from that. Uh, there's a couple more things that I want to have done, just very small projects that shouldn't be very expensive. So, but I'm going to wait until next year to do any more. This year has cost me an arm and a leg, so I hope I have a little bit of peace from that. And I know we're all in the same boat, and getting things fixed is very expensive. So anyway, um, hopefully I'll make a little progress on my food stash today, and I know it's going to take me a week or two to get everything done that I want to get done because it requires me to open packages of beans and put like with like, put them in small buckets, put some um, oxygen absorbers in there and, uh, you know, put them on the shelf. That way I won't get, um, I'm going to put some bay leaves in with them too, try and keep bugs out. So that's the problem with food storage. I wish we, we really didn't have to live this way. But nowadays, with the world being so nutty, you kind of at least have to um, be a little bit prepared, in my opinion. So, all right, I will be back later and um, see what else is up. Day number 17, 101 Ways to Simplify Your Life, by Candy Paul. Just as clearing clutter in your living space calms and soothes you, so clearing emotional clutter helps you live life more freely from the heart. Emotional clutter includes the ego agendas that trip you up in your relationships. Galatians 5:19-21 lists toxic emotions of the lower nature that include hatred, discord, rage, jealousy, and envy. Verses 22 and 23 offer the contrast of the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. As you allow God to clear your emotional clutter, you'll begin to experience more of the sweet serenity that comes through the fruit of the Spirit. He who reigns within himself and rules his passions, desires, and fears is more than a king. John Milton When you are hurting, take your emotions of fear, anger, anxiety, and frustration to God. Write your prayers and feelings in a journal. All Good Advice all right, well, for dinner tonight, um, I decided 
I have all those carrots yet that I got for a dollar. They were on markdown. And I had all the green onions from the garden. So I shredded up carrots and cut up the green onion. And I made a dressing here. And this is Asian carrot slaw. And the dressing is... Um, Three tablespoons sesame oil, one clove garlic, minced, two tablespoons of rice vinegar, juice of one lime, one tablespoon soy sauce, and one tablespoon sugar. And that goes on two cups of shredded carrots and uh, four green onions. So this is not four green onions, but close enough. So I'm just going to mix this up and pour it over here and it says to chill this until you're ready to eat it. So I'm just going to put some in here and mix it up. I don't know if I need all of that. Yeah, it looks like I do. But a really quick refreshing salad and this would be good as a side dish or on a burger and the recipe says it would be good with fish so and I imagine you could put salt and pepper to taste but I'm going to give this a little taste and see if it's good And in my opinion, it needs to marinate for a while. So I think this would be better tomorrow or in a few hours. All right. And then I'm going to fry up some of that meatloaf with um, some chopped up onion on some sourdough bread and eat it as a burger. So that'll be an inexpensive meal for tonight. Not much cooking going on. So, okay. Another cheap meal. All right, I have my burger patty in there. I have some smoked Gouda in there. And that's going to be dinner for tonight. The meatloaf I made the other day, it's in the video from, I think, two days ago. I made the meatloaf in the slow cooker. So that's what's for dinner tonight. Well, here's tonight's dinner. My meatloaf burger with cheese, my carrot slaw, and some potato chips. So that'll fill me up. All right. Use what you have. Use it up. Hi, Chloe. You going to look at the camera? Oh, here they all come. They think they're missing something. They think they're missing something. No, I don't have any treats for you. Hi, Chloe. Well, today I did get started on organizing my food stash downstairs. I had cleaned up my, I don't know, I guess they're two gallon buckets, whatever they are, two and a half gallons. And I put all my beans in there, took them all out of the packaging, and now I'm going to stick bay leaves in there with them. I've heard that keeps the bugs out. So um, I was kind of a little nervous. You know, it's like, oh, I hope they didn't get into my stash. And they didn't. There was nothing there. So I was very relieved, and now... I can move forward with that and just organize all my food stuff. I'm not worried about the canned things, um, but what I'm doing while I'm doing this process is making mental notes of sort of things that I want to cook. So 
I'm looking through the cookbooks I got from the library, and you know, you know, I have a ton of cookbooks, so that way I can start using up what I have before everything down there gets too old. So anyway, that's what I did today, and uh, making progress a little bit at a time. Um, it's going to take me at least a week to get through it, but that's okay. It's better to make slow progress than no progress. So, all right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share. Thanks for watching.